What's up, G.I. Joe Classified fans? I'm Aaron the Toy Enhancer, and welcome to the channel. I just got this new G.I. Joe Classified in, Big Ben. He looks awesome. This is a Night Force edition. I, I think this is the first Night Force. I may be wrong. I, I, I think this is the first Night Force that we ever... Um, got the pre-order. I missed the, the initial pre-order on this. Um, and then I caught like the second round when Hasbro um, put it back out for, for sale again. I caught the second round. So that's why we're a little bit late on this. He's number 77 in the line. Artwork looks great. I mean, these boxes look great. I can't complain. It's gonna be a damn shame they're gonna change them again. I hope if they don't go back to the original, I don't know what. I don't know what they're gonna look like. Hey, he comes with all kinds of cool stuff. There's a bunch of mumbo jumbo for you. Number seventy-seven. Let's crack them open. Been waiting to get my hands on this guy. Him, uh, the Range Viper, Mole Rat. Those have just been hard for me to get. Uh, I have a couple of them on the way. I'm still looking for mole rat, but get them in eventually. I can't get all the pre-orders. <laughs> I, I collect a lot of line. Like I collect Thundercats too, and just turtles. And between them all, it's hard to it's hard to stay on top of things. I'm sure, you collectors know. All right, so right out of the box. This is what he's looking like. Looks to be all together. I have yet to come across a G.I. Joe that's in pieces in the box, but I've seen pictures, so, but have yet to come across that. He's got the twist ties. Love these things, especially when they're not tied in knot. This one, no. Okay. So yeah, these are great. You can just untwist them, couple twists, pull them loose, and just just pull them through the loops. So easy. There's a picture of that black and white artwork. Looking great. Let's take a look at Big Ben. I've never had Big Ben as a kid. I know they had a, a vintage version. I'm not sure if it was Night Force, but that's cool. He's got a little mic on the ear, I guess, there. It's different. Some clips in right there. Just a gun holster, maybe. There's the boots. So, looking pretty good. It's got the British flag there on his shoulder. Pretty nice. So let's uh let's see how he stands up. Not too bad. Let's get into this locker. It's number 77 again. Oh, it does have his name on it. David Big Ben Bennett. So David Bennett was his original name. I've always known him as Big Ben. Of course, I've never had this character. I just I would see him occasionally collecting toys and never picked one up. And 
sure he was all through the comics and whatnot. Here's what I want to get to. Is the stuff he comes with. Let's take a look. This rifle is huge. I'm going to go right for that. This thing is mammoth. Just wild looking. I wish it had more um, paint on it. Besides being one color. It would have been great if they just... Put some black in there, even if it was just on the butt and the grip. It's such a detailed gun. Amazing. I'm assuming like this roll clip probably goes into it. Most of these style guns, um, they normally have that. This one looks like it clips in this way, which is a much better design than the other the other kinds that we have seen. That was easy to find and work. I've, I've never even seen a review on this guy yet. So. so it's easy to work in there. Looks awesome. I just wish they put a little bit of black in there. Just a touch. And then he's got this gun. This gun is, is awesome too. It's, See, it's a double barrel. Oh, that just looks wicked. So I, I knew getting this that the weapons, you know, the peak that I did have at the weapons, that they they were gonna be great. You know, I'm I'm not too big on a fan of Big Ben. Like I said, I, I just haven't I just haven't had him in the past with the vintage and stuff. But he looks cool. He's got cool weapons, so. know if that's something that may have broke we'll have to look or if that just flips like that looks a little stressed right there let me know if I'm missing something let's take a quick look at the quick look at the box here and no, it's just got a little looks like it's got a little flip down on there so just look stressed right there like something broke but probably just where the bit of plastic came off the mold since it is a separate part so, pretty cool the mag goes in there well he's got this Uzi very snake eyes like and then uh, the silencer so I'm assuming that silencer, let's see, looks great on the Uzi, but yeah, that just goes on the Uzi. That's all it's made for. You can't put it on the other guns because they, um, they'll take blast effects. So definitely made for that. And then this is, this is one of the coolest parts right here. This is the alternate head and I love it so much. Um, only because it's a gas mask and it, it just looks wicked looking um, this reminds me of something like off of Pink Floyd the wall or something you know back in the the World War days you know and where like you would you would hike around with a gas mask at all times because you didn't know what you would run into in the field so chemical warfare or whatever but this is this is awesome. It looks great. Very old school. I'm assuming that's maybe a British gas mask. I'm, I'm not an expert on gas masks, so all I know is that that head sculpt. That's awesome. I don't think it. I think it's just one piece. You see it like like a hood. That's pretty cool though. And that's Big Ben, everyone, from uh, G.I. Joe Classified. I said he's, he's pretty cool looking. Love the head. And uh, he's going to be a great addition. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Ring the bell for notifications. Give a like. Give a share. I hope you enjoyed, everyone. 
I'll see you on the next review. Thanks.